This is why I love running. Throughout my life, my dad has always run and I always wanted to be a part of that. So in 2020, I finally joined him. And as I was a little bit nervous from what I remember, I would only run with him or run up and down my garden. Eventually I did start running on my own, but my favorite runs always will be with my dad. Reason number two has to be the running community. I kind of went through a lonely period where I was just working. So when I started seeing these social run clubs pop up, I was so excited to join. And never did I think I would meet the most amazing people and create the most genuine friendships. And I'm so grateful to every single person that I've met through this sport. Reason number three is a little bit selfish, but it's so important to me. And that is the growth and confidence I've had since running. Confidence was never something that I truly mastered and I'm still working on it today, but I found the more that I ran, the more I went to these social run clubs, the more I wore the damn shorts. Just the more I got myself out of my comfort zone, I started to see myself as a confident runner, but also as a confident person for the first time. It's truly special how running has allowed me to grow as a person and also get closer to my goals, not just fitness related, but in all areas of my life. So this leads me to one of my goals that I set myself this year, and that was to complete my first marathon. We're doing it. I'm going to bring you along the ride and me and my dad are going to be running the New York City Marathon this year. How am I saying that? That's crazy. So the marathon isn't till November. We have a bit of time still, but time is going to fly by. I want to start training as soon as possible. To finish it off with, running has really changed my life. And even if I have a crappy run, and I know I'm going to have many crappy runs throughout this marathon training, but it will never take away what running has added into my life. A huge thing that I've learned since running is you don't need to be perfect. As cliche as it sounds, I know, you really have to embrace the process and not get too focused on the end result of your goals. If you want to run for the long term and be successful, you need to start measuring how you see success. Success isn't based on the PBs, the pace, the distance. It's about being present and focusing on how you feel on the run rather than focusing on what it looks like on Strava. So I guess cheers to running and here's to the start of this marathon training series. I'm not ready. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. <laughs>